I take an example from the website. That's several years ago. I use some material that's not actual, not to offend anybody. This is uh, an example. And now what we have learned. Title. Well, that's some, some kind of title. What do you think about this waterfall? The influences, you can see it. It's not months and years, it's structure, okay? So we have to turn it around. Because a structure waterfall is not a time waterfall. Time means months, 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 and this is the structure. And it is much easier, you see it here, it's much easier to label, because I mean, you can label horizontally, it's in many cases much easier to do it this way than using a, a waterfall, okay? I would like to show you the previous year, because it is 2015, it's previous year, it is gray. We show the calculation, uh, you see the, if it's a little bit darker, uh, these are the bad guys, the cost and stuff like this is a little bit darker, and the good ones, profit and sales, a little bit lighter. And you come up to the group result of 188 million. Okay? And then we have the actual values, 2016, which is darker, because it's the actual, it's, it's the actual waterfall. And then you see, well, you compare the two, the dark ones, again, are the bad ones, the cost, we go backwards, and the light ones are the good ones. And now what? Red and green means it's a variance, right? And it's an absolute variance. So the difference between the two is the green and red variance. So this, is, this is the bad one, the minus 12. And this is the waterfall coming up to an increasing profit, increasing result of plus 91. Of course, another minor thing you might want to follow, if we have variances, they have plus and minus signs. Because, I mean, if you see a table and it has plus, plus and minus, this is a variance column. It helps. Then we have the relative variances. And if it's a PowerPoint slide, uh, you will might have some explanations. Even there are some, some tools now in dashboarding where you can have explanations. And of course, they are numbered. And these numbers are linked to the content. So when you read this, you have a direct link, especially important in tables. So you need that as a comment, and you see the comment belongs to, to a certain position. Okay? If it's a presentation, we have a message, uh, and this message, there are some numbers in the message, and of course, the message is highlighted in, in the chart. So you know, okay, this is my message, and I know where I find it.